Nick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the BYU Cougars and the Illinois Fighting Illini. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Fighting Illini looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. First of all, play at your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Second, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Finally, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Tries for two. Up and in. Look at this last play right here. They move it into the front court. The high screen. He gets the bucket to fall. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. The point guard gets the ball. High post flasher is open. The center takes the pass. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They work it around the perimeter. Hayes picks up the foul. First personal foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Drains the shot. Trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. The shooting guard gets the pass. Knocks it down. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They go into the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He looks at the hoop. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Grant comes up with it. The shooting guard with the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The center takes the feed. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Illinois are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. the perimeter got a nice screen for two perfectly executed oh what a strip Brad there's a steal definitely worth another look Brad Momentary look from three-point land. Easy one. They 
like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Got it. Finney is feeling great right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Down inside. Goes up for two. That was nice. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Now trying to feed the low block for the bucket. BYU have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Both teams looking to get things going here. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. We get another look at it in the lane. This is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. In the paint. Number 55, pump fakes. Here's a double team. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from right of the circle. Nice shot. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. It's stolen. Here they go into transition. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. BYU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Tries for two, and he missed. He puts it in with contact and all. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. 
He unloads a three. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Picks off the pass. On the outside, he shoots from long range. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're anticipating, you've got a chance to be up. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. For two. Goes in. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good fake. Controlling the ball. Got an open look if he wants it. The turn, a fadeaway jumper. I tell you, he's got every move in the ball. What an offensive player. That fadeaway is impossible to block. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Both teams looking to get things going here. away with it. Here they come now on a turnover. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Great anticipation defensively. Pushes it up. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. High post screen, gonna use it. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Looking for a good shot. Launches the three. Oh, you gotta knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. Thanks, Aaron. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solved. They work the perimeter. The frustration right there. And the slam. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He buries the shot. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. 
Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great, easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. For the bucket, BYU are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Pushing that basketball. Stolen away. Almost lost the basketball. Set that screen away. He drains it. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. From beyond the arc. Scorches the net. That's a 7 nothing run. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. And a momentary look from three. Give them points. That's goaltending. Be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Look at that spacing. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Sinks the shot. Turns it over with a deep pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the trap. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Moving it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. Fake. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Takes away the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, nothing down with ease, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. Steal. Here we go on the break. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Intercepted. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline.
think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. This is worth the second look. In the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Goes up for two. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it through him about a second earlier. The ball goes out of play. They've left him completely alone. He gets the bucket. Goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing: you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Jumped in front to take it away. Full court pass. Fakes it. He shoots from the angle. Sinks it. It's the replay, please. Great double team, really explosive. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Shot clock is dead. He tries to knock down the three, makes it. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts up the tray. Drains the shot. At the end of the first half, the Fighting Illini are down by 28. We've had a good battle so far, Dick. What do you have queued up for our highlight of the half? There were some good highlights in that first half, but you got to look at this one. Watch how they got the ball inside for easy scores, which forced the defense to collapse, opening up the perimeter game. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Illinois is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. Sets the screen for his teammate. Two with a lay-in. We've got a whistle and a foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. The 
defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. They work the perimeter. Right, right. He makes the block. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Looking for a good shot. For two. Perfectly executed. He can't shake the pressure. Stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked off. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Coming the other way, there's a slam. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Steals the ball. They get out on the break. Tries for two. Goes in. They work it around the perimeter. Count that as a personal foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He intercepts it. From right of the circle. Rims out. On the outside. Dumps it in. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. High post flashes. There's the pick. There's the roll. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. Tell you the Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement of that play, baby. I ain't backing down. Is this cry? The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? He can't buy one. Rips down the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. The power forward receives the pass. 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He drains it. Picks off the lazy pass. the dribble gives it up he was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal a questionable decision though on his part because it resulted in the foul if you go for the steal you better get it if not this is exactly what happens The fighting Illini go to the line for the first time in this game. Gets the first shot. Misses the second. Gets the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? The center handles the pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Good job of offensive rebounding. <laughs> On the outside. For two. Perfectly executed. Down of the air. He tries the three ball. He gets it to fall. They work it back to the outside. Picked out of the air and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post player flashing. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Great defense. Tries one from three-point land. No good from the field. Too many dribbles and a steal. Looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. The power forward receives the ball. Steal. They push it up on the break. For the deuce. And he scores despite the hack. There's a double team waiting there. He tries a jump hook. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands. And the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief, guys. Intercepted. 
gave it up. For the bucket. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. Entry pass in the paint. There's the trap. He comes away with it. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the long-range bomb. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. The fake. Now the high screen. Goes up for two. The fighting Illini trail by 33. He intercepts it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. The point guard handles the feed. Takes the outside jumper. Goes in. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Here's a double team. Shoots it. Too strong. He buries it. Two doesn't go for two, drains it. The fighting Illini are down by 32. Dumping inside, tries for two. He couldn't get it to fall. Dumping inside. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. On the dribble, gives it up. He launches the bomb. Off the mark. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For the deuce. And he missed. Dick, how's he working in defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play half play, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. off the lazy pass. They're working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Grant has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. Someone may have to talk to him. He needs to get back on track. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. He gets the bucket. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really 
really do a great job seeing ball and man. He puts up the three ball. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Strips the ball. They get it out into transition. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He attempts the three, makes the shot. On the outside. He fires from long range. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. For the bucket. They still don't score. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Knocks it down. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dick, you were a math teacher. Mathematically, I think this one's over. It is over, Brad. I'm no math major, but even I can figure this one out. The fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. A oh, terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. Looking for a good shot. They work the perimeter. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the rim and no good. Stolen ball. For two. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. Doesn't go. The lay -in. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He throws it up from downtown. Rims out. That's good. He 
He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. High post screen. From way outside. Got it. Too physical. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a cap the way. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Look at that spacing. And a momentary look from three-point land. The ball goes out of play. There's the turnover situation for the half dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That's a great response by this crowd. What a response, what enthusiasm. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. BYU graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.